Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this box. This box which holds my blender pens. Um, put it down like that. I made this because I was fed up of fishing through the box I had them in for each colour. And this one it just makes it so much easier for me to see the colours and see which pen I want. I do have a gap for five more pens, two colours I haven't got, but no one's stamping up, they're going to bring a load more out. So, to make this box, you need loads of card. I have already made the tubes, all 72 of them. But I shall show you what I did with this. I got a bit carried away. I wasn't meant to stick them all on and all down together. And I've just got carried away and did it. So what I'll do is I'll do a couple more and show you how i done it. And for that you'll need 72 pieces of card measuring 4 and 5 eighths by 3. You need 72 of these. Now this card is 300 GSM, so it's quite thick. And I got this, oh I never got it, my sister got me this from um, a craft fair in Ali Pali in London. You can buy it on the internet, Amazon or whatever. And it was £5 for, 300, uh, for 100 sheets. And you do need a lot of them. So get started we'll score these I have made some more and put them on a piece of card like I'm showing you what I do so I just should add some more to them so bring up the scoreboard and zoom you out Right, and where's my card? With the three inches across, you want to score at a quarter inch, one inch, one and five eighths, and two and three eighths. Oh, that's come off. Do it with all three, so that's quarter of an inch, one inch, one and five eighths, and two and three eighths. So the last one. Ooh. Quarter inch. One inch, one and five eighths, and two and three eighths. Right, someone did ask, who asked me if I'd do a film on this, if this would work with the marker pens. I'll just get one, I'll put my black marker pen in my box here. Now these tubes would be too small, uh, too big for them. They'll rattle around. But what you could do is make them um, a uh, half inch square. So you just get a piece of card at two and a quarter inches. Mark it at a quarter inch, one inch, one and a quarter and two. And that will give you tubes big enough for your marker pen. I hope that was um, simple for you. Right, a pair of snips. And what you want to do is just take the corners off where the quarter inch score is. Just 
take the corners off there. With a bone folder, let's fold up and burnish all the score lines. You want to do that on all three, or in your case, all 72. You can make it bigger or smaller, depends how many pens you're going to collect. <clears throat> it's one thing if Stampin' Up! bring out um, more um, colours, you can always take them, the tube out the box, these out the box and add to them and just make a bigger box. Right, I have got some 1 8 inch tape, so all I did with this, get this and just add it to the quarter inch score I did that on all three tool when I can't find it. Hmm. Oh. Couldn't find my pokey tool. I'll lift this red off. And then we just join them. And there is your tube. So we do with all three. This is the boring bit, this, because you've got to make 72 of them. Or however big you want your um, box to be. Now, I wasn't going to make one of these, but my sister said, um, I think you should film that. If the people out there want to do that, she said, when you film it, making another one, she said, you can give me your other one. I think that was one way of my sister asking for a box. I don't mind. Right. I have stuck them all on a piece of card. On my first one, I didn't. I just stuck each tube together like that. But this time I tried to do it to stop and go wonky, but it hasn't really helped. They're still a bit wonky, they're not all lined up. But to do this I got the 5 eighth inch. And what I did was, 
I am gluing the bit with the join. So I just can't find it. There it is. Which is that way. No. That way. There. So I just glue that down and then I flattened it like that and pushed it up against the ones I've already started and then I just put a bit of glue lift it up and held them together and that is how I joined my boxes now the next one I put the join to the top and put that in press it down add some glue and then hold them And then with the last one, the join goes on the bottom. The reason I did that was, like I said, to try and keep them as straight as I could. There we have, and you just go along. In my case, I done twelve in a row. You could do eight, you could do ten, do as many as you want. But I've done twelve by six, and that's all you do. And then you get this, and you stick it on each layer on. As you can see, oh, I don't have any. All my bits of card are on the inside, which is fine. So that's how I did that. I hope that was clear for you. Next thing though, is trying to make a box big enough for the, um, to hold them. Now I made my box in pieces. Um, Move them. Yeah, I made my box in four pieces. I'll show you how I done that. So I've got two pieces at eight and one eighth by eight and a quarter, and then two pieces at eight and one eighth by Seven. That's not eight and one eighth. That should be eight and a quarter. It is. It's eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. So it's eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, and this is eight and a quarter by seven. Right. You need to bring the scoreboard up. again and each one yeah. each one at the eight and a quarter one you want to score at four and three quarters so this one is the seven this is a side I'll come back to that in a minute that's a seven, four and three quarters. Right, the seven inch ones, you want to do, score them down 
Uh, yeah, do it this way. One each, one inch on each side. Right, I'm just going to put a little line there so I know that this is the bottom. Right, seven inch, so we're going to do one inch. Turn it round and do one inch. And we know that's what, and we're just going to put a little mark there so I know that's the bottom. Right, with the eight and one eight, an eight. Right, and the eight and quarter side, score that at four and three quarters. Right, and score that up. Both of them Ooh. at four and three quarters. Right, I'll fold and burnish all the score lines. bottom half of it you need to cut yeah. cut up the one inch score line and cut it out cut up and flag that a bit and that's what that looks like and then burnish Watch that one and then do the exact same on the other one cut up the score line And miter it out. Same as this side. And miter it out. Get rid of them. And burnish. Now to check, see if these will fit, which they will, thank God. That's all I do is just check to see if they fit, and they do. So, what we do now is Stick these together and I should just use glue because it adds to the strength if you use glue. And stick these so that they're level. Right, just 
stick the other one to this side. Oops, no, that way. So let's put some glue on it. So I can get it level. I find it easier doing this. And then we just have to glue wrong way this one on. This is made by out of um, a normal A4 card. Um, cut down. I don't know if I could have made a big box like this out of 12 by 12 paper. I don't think I could have. Um, so that's 5 and that's 8 so that's 13. Uh, so you do have to make it in bits. Right, glue, the other one, And there you have your box. I would normally, well I will, I think I will, uh, put some glue on the inside of this and stick it in just to make it a bit more secure. First of all, need to glue this down so just take that and glue and so you can see where I'm gluing I'm gluing the width of this just so no glue goes in here glue it with your um, tubes in it just keeps it square and then I should take this out and I should just run some glue on the inside of the box back in and hold the sides in And that's 
It's not going to stick down very well. It's sticking when it's not sticking. Now we've got to make a lid. To make the lid I have got, I'm going to make it in five pieces. I've got a big piece here which I'm going to score one inch all the way round and then I've got four pieces which I'm going to score, I'm going to make the lid three inches deep. <coughs> so these will all need to be scored at three inches. And I'll just show you that in a minute. So we need to bring our scoreboard up. <coughs> right, the big piece of the lid is ten and a three sixteenth of an inch by seven and one eighth of an inch. So what we'll do is just score this one inch all the way round. Just like that. Right, and the smaller bits. These are six inches by six and one eighth. Um, so the six and one eighth, you score them at half an inch. Turn it round and score it at half an inch. Ooh, that's quarter. That's half. And turn it around and score it at three inches. So it's six like this way. We score it at three inches. And then the six and one eighth we score it at half an inch. Turn it round and score it half an inch. <coughs> With the lid, we go to the six inch side and just score it at three inches. The lid, I meant the sides, and just score it at three inches. And that's all we do for them. Right, what we'll do, we'll do this bit first, which we need to make sure we've got the right size. Right, to do that, I usually my box in. If my box fits this, then I know I've got the right size for the lid. So put that in. That's going to fit lovely. Oh, right. With the snips, just 
cut up the to the score line and my to I turn mine round, I don't have my corners like both at end. I just turn it round and strengthen each corner with the extra bit of support it has in it. some glue and we just glue the tab and stick it in making sure your corners meet You might think, oh, it's a lot of cards you're using, and yeah, maybe I am using a lot of card. At least I'm getting what I want. Remember, when you put the pens in, it won't sit like that, because the pens come above it. So we may need to make the sides of this longer. To do that, we add some card, and I always fold it in half. make it a bit stronger but what we need to do with the inside bit that goes in the inside is trim it up just miter it then miter each bit that goes inside That's the two sides. Right. This bit, we'll cut it in half. Cut it in half. Fold it in half. And need to cut these off. really mitre this bit. So so we're just doing two cuts. Cut at an angle there. Cut at an angle there. Cut that off. And then mitre these corners as well.
scissors are sticky. Right. Cut up. Seems long. Oh, it's not. Same size. And I never mited it. Right. Mite this one. corner and cut these corners. Right. I had a nice pile of rubbish at the side of me. And we burnish that. Turn over our tabs and burnish. Burnish that tab. Do the same with the other one. These will go on with the tabs that side so that we can tap these to the side one. That's it like that. So all we do is glue the end of the box. And stick that on. Do the same the other side. Rub it down so it's well and truly sticks. Now you can glue down these half a tabs, just stick it to the sides. Now we must stick these sides on like that. So to do that we will glue the tabs. side of our base and this tab <coughs> make sure we get the right side we don't want the bits where we cut Sure, all 
lines up nicely. And glue it all down. I do need to do, which I forgot, is trim a little bit off there. Not a lot. That's better. Right, I should do that on this one before I even stick it in. Just trim a little bit off of there and that will make it easier to fold in. That one's alright, I need to do this one. That's better. Right, put these out again. Am I going to stick? up the edge of there. And we're going to stick this on there. I don't want it to go over the edge. Rub it all down on the inside. Right, and these. Just put some glue and press these down. Once you've got more stuck down, just go around with your burn folder and give it a good rub. And there is your three inch lid. So now will fit lovely on there. What we need to do now is 
put all the pens in. Make sure they all go in lovely. I know we've got ink colours in these, so um, it won't be this year. I don't think we've got any of this year's ink colours that are due to retire. But um, I know we have the ones that are due to retire next year. So what I'm going to do is make another box of 20 tubes. So it'll be like four rows. One, two, three, four, two, four, six, eight. So it'll be that big. And all I will have in it is the ink colour pens. ivory and bronze ivory and the colour lifter this is just a pro marker big brother didn't have a blue at the time they do now so I've got that and my sister Sheena can have that one have that one. All that's left for me to do is to decorate it, which I will do off camera. You don't need to see me decorate it. So I hope that was understandable. You could understand everything I did. Easy enough for you. Um, you can always stop, rewind and Contact me by email if you're not quite sure, if you want to know how to make it. Um, and I can try and explain it to you where you're stuck if you want. My email address is georgie13 at live.co.uk Well, I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Um... If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and press the bell button next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.